I like this one a lot. That was really, really cool. I guess a double thumbs up from me. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're gonna be taking a look at ATs' Horizon Dance Practice. I've been taking a whole marathon through ATs, and they have been sending me on a roller coaster of emotions as well as analytics. And this has been really fun for me, and I know this one will not be much different in a great way. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. I do know signs and martial arts, so it could be a variation of something he's done there. That was really, really cool. I guess a double thumbs up from me. I liked that one. Okay, bringing it back from the top. I really like the drop on this a lot. And I can definitely see we have a little bit of like puppeting, which I think matches the the, the gimmick, I feel. Because I hadn't seen the music videos of any of these. So I'm only going off the choreography. So I may just be taking a shot in the wind on this. But I really liked this one. From the very top of this. In the beginning, it doesn't give off the energy of the drop like what, what they showed. Here, having your first feature demonstrate himself moving forward, then having, going and doing a peel out, going from the front to the back. Great choice, nice and simple, going all the way through. Now we're all in a straight line. And we go, boom. We may pull it, we may put it to the fact that he is wearing a significantly, like he's wearing primaries with a capital P, primary colors, and everybody else is in heavy neutrals like blacks and whites so there's a good chance that is why we caught him 
so much and also his hair is a little bit longer so you could really catch the reverb off of his fringe let me see though it really could be that but i really feel like out of everybody he did a very nice job of that vibration on that sound it is really fun to see uh see my guys travel around and then through which is kind of cool it's a bit um we're, we're, we're setting up a story is what it feels like that little uh, 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 it has that it does like e -e -e -uh, uh, uh, that part excuse me my like my banshee sounding voice but that part right there gives off that skrillex kind of vibe but in a good way not in a plagiarism way but in definitely a um i appreciate the choice they did here with the falsetto and modifying it like that i'm a fan of they did a good job interpreting it i love the bleeds through which is really nice bringing it up turning it around I love that when they go and face the back. I really like the integration of the dancers. I'm going to assume this is BB Trippin. I do not know who choreographed it, but this does really feel like there is way more cohesion in this than in some of their other works. Now, if this was Anjay's, props to you, my guy. This is probably your best one if you did choreograph this. Um, I, I, I really like this. There's definitely... I would say if we're going off of my order that I've been doing in my marathon, this is one of the first times, I will say Pirate King, really great debut, I said what I said there. Uh, I said we had some really nice moments. This one right here is definitely a great checkpoint. Really clean, much cleaner, and they had really great transition choices that they used with their backup dancers. And we allowed breaks and breathers, which is really nice, and that, that was my biggest qualm in some of the earlier stuff. I love having this moment right here accenting with his front feature. And then have everybody circle around and we go out. Now we have our dancers doom doom setting it up. He's able to have his moment. Everybody travels to the outside. So technically we only have two guys. Nope, nope. One guy that is our performer with ATs. Everybody else is not. And I great utilization of your dancers. Having your moment. I know he's about to do something. That was cool. With the really great reverb on that. Super sick. Gray vibing it out. I really like that. That does give me a little bit of a front glide influence on that section that little doo -doo -doo, I, I still really like that but we're also I need to point out they're not just doing their upper body they are incorporating their lower half in to make that feel so strong and they are this group's doing a really good job of keeping it cohesive with the members they don't stand out in a way where they're not holding their own end of the deal and vice versa so I do appreciate that that swing right there with the dancers going up and hitting outside in our middle, not having to do that was a really great accent to show depth in your levels. Kicking it through, they kick up. I'm so glad they were clean there because whenever he's able to have his moment, he gets to have his moment and he's properly framed. I love it. And they hit through, go down, now having our moment. That right there, it feels like we're doing a, oh my gosh, it was, he had a, it's not a double stag, but it really feels like we get to see a little bit of martial arts influence so bless some of my feedback i've done before because i had completely forgotten that he has done martial arts in his day this is san right so my brain was braining that and so that's why i mean we got to the place that we did and it turned out fine i'm now fully aware i'm there i've learned that I'm assuming he has some martial arts influence into that, but it did appear to be a double stag, but he ended up turning his back, uh, his back leg into an attitude. And that was very majestic. I really appreciated that with the slide through. Then I love how he finished and then he started. And that was a really nice choice. How you get to have a moment travel and they all walk. Really great choice of him walking tempo. When your feet match your tempo, you'd be shocked how clean it is. It's really nice. Sliding it through, pulling it through. This part is so interesting to me because dun da dun da dun da 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 dun da it's mischievous. It feels like we're at the carnival, but like a carnival of death, you know, like if um it just kinda gives off that like dance dance revolution is mischievously difficult and then you're freaking out because you didn't realize how difficult it was and you're like, Oh my god, and you have to hang on for dear life because you're only on one life left. It's kind of what it gives me that energy. And that is a so like out of pocket thing to say and unhinged, but I hope he appreciated that because that's exactly what this is giving to me. This would be a really great pump it up track. <laughs> I love the pushing through, boom, boom, dropping it down, boom, boom, boom. We twist it up. Do, 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 do. My note here, I do understand that was an aesthetic choice, but whenever you do overheads, if you choose to keep your head up, it's going to make it look like your range is bigger. And that's what with whacking, we want to avoid poking our head forward because it shows you you're not as 
you, you're showing your own limitations. So having it nice and strong shows that you've trained your back. So that would be my overall note, but I understand that was a preference or an aesthetic choice. They're like, doom, doom, doom. I really think if they lean that a little bit, especially if we have a little bit of puppeting moments, the leans on that would have made it feel very um, animated in a way that matches the overall aesthetic that they're going for. Yeah, do, 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 do. notice that they're twisting of the heels to really move the body up to create that pose and position. You gotta make sure I'm right on that though. Yeah, so they're twisting that heel, do, 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 melting it in. Very great, really great choice. I would say we have just a slight um, angle issue right here. It's not even an issue, it's just, it's just a little in. If you just had both of them scoot out just a smidge, that would be a chef's kiss symmetry. The swing right here, I do find it interesting if you notice with the transition, great job on the transition. They didn't really take anything away from our feature. Doom, 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 doom. This does give me very similar with Wonderland with this kind of swing. It feels muted for the aesthetic of the track. Not for the, not in this case. I feel like if we were a little bit more full in the swing, maybe had some dynamic or texture to the execution of that swing. Right now, it just feels very placed. Da, 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 da. Instead of bump, a bump, da, 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 da. like we're not allowing energy in the upper body like we are in the lower body. It could be an isolation choice, but I feel like that could, especially if we saw this in the second course, which, which we do, I think that could help us keep the energy through, even though we still have the same number of people and we're around the same kind of formation we were in before. I like that peel out or like that, that kind of cannon that's happening where you have your first guy and then you have the two join and then the three, but it's not an add on. It's just a, he goes, they go second, third. I love it. Love it. Bring it through. Do, 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 do. Now notice though, whenever they did the kick, it did feel slightly incomplete. Yeah. When they kick boom, normally I see a fuller rotation of that secondary leg that da, da, they twist it. It's more of a, not, it's not an envelope. It's not that. It's just that whenever you kick, it is nice to make that a little bit more full to finish it out instead of chopping it up to where you keep your feet separated, kicking it all the way down, and then having something happen after that would always make that look a little bit nicer. That's like, da -da 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 -da. I like that choice because he's very, he does a really great job of committing, and I really am going to chalk it up to the fact she's wearing red and yellow, and everybody else is in muted tones. That's why he sticks out so much, not because he's going significantly bigger than everybody else. So I want you to know that. I really think outfits matter. I've talked about that in a couple 17s reactions. When they wear more muted and neutral colors, it's going to be a more neurotic type of routine. When they wear brighter or more pastel colors, it's going to be a more gregarious routine. That is really works in your favor. And it's not just in, it can also be the type of room it is too. Rooms can help with overall aesthetic. I just reacted to XGs. They did girl giving. I think that's, that's how you pronounce it. But uh, the room was more cream and tone. It was warmer. So it actually helped carry the aesthetic of the track a little bit better than if they were in that really pristine clear white uh, white room both would have been fine but i think the cream really worked in their favor more so so i like that Woo! and it goes forward having the moment now we're back to a different different bpm which i i'm a fan of these types of things hence why it makes me feel like this would be a really nice mischievously difficult routine to do on rhythm games because that bpm will get you and you're like oh crap i gotta switch it up with a loud arcade and you're like ah, i can't hear it but i think it makes it fun so i like the energy as we're bringing it up that doom boom i really like that pull of energy to that side that was cool yeah, that doom, doom, and pull, and pull. Really nice choice on when they're twisting. Notice that they are matching a little bit more. We're starting to see them really become more cohesive together. It could be because we're seeing them more with the dancers, not sure, or who they're working with, or they are getting used to Anjay's work. Remember, I don't know. I were, they were right around where Anjay's still working with them, so I have no idea if he was on this or not. But we're starting, regardless, we are seeing more cohesion here with their overall aesthetic, which I appreciate. It shows we're making progress. And I've already seen crazy forms, so I know that we get there. But I, it, it is nice to kind of catch the symptoms of when we're seeing the fingerprints early. Yeah, that pull through. That pull, do, 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 do. And I love the heel toe. They're using the heel toe to help with the transition with the front foot. That was cool. Then noticing that they're really digging with the hips to create that depth of that pull and that swing. That was a good choice too. That boom, oh no, and having your back person with your feature. Well, actually, no, he didn't do that because they did three and three and then you had one person in the back. So you had your back because uh, I'm not talking about him. So 
these one, two, three, they ended up going the same way. He ended up going with them. That was a really interesting choice because it actually threw me off for a second and I caught it halfway through. That right there, that's nice and it creates great mirroring and that's a really great way to utilize even numbers. That was a really great choice there. I appreciated that because it promoted symmetry but dynamics at the same time. So now he gets to have his own moment. I don't really see as much of an issue with it. I'm gonna assume it's just a moment, maybe for the other ATs members, they get to have a moment with the fans while he gets to have his moment. Uh, our dancers, they get a little break too. This was probably one of the coolest parts of the whole track. So notice that they all come out. Notice it's really important that we have our two features. I didn't really realize what was happening back here, but noticing he comes up, they all do a peel out, but it's the second peel out that's captivating because I don't really see that as often. He has his moment. Look at that bleed out. Ooh, that's so good. And then he ends up using the end of San's group to start the next group. And I think that was a really great way to connect the two. Then they all peel out. He runs through. That was great. And then the, the dancers got a basket run for their life to get to their columns. <clears throat> I love that where they go hit and hit, but they're alternating the hits and then they both come together. I love that with the peel outs, but then having all your dancers. I do feel like it's either that dancer made a mistake or something. Maybe, but noticing that his mirror moved because he's over here, he moves, he didn't. So I think he's a little late. But I really liked the stoicness of the very back dancers on these two columns because it, it helped solidify the just the symmetry and it created a nice avenue of level. So that was a good choice. I think he was a little late though. Yeah, you can tell right there because he, he like joined back in. It was a little late and it was an 80s though. That was the dancer. So I'll say props to 80s. I haven't really caught him on a synchronicity issue as big like that. There's a little, little, little tappy taps on the buildup. I mean, at least they're hitting the music for me. Um, and that's still a great choice. So we go here. Now we have dancers framing this really well. Um, I do, I do like the pool. Doom, 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 doom. It's really nice. It does build great. Yeah, do 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 do. So we notice that they're they are completing their transitions of their lower body a little bit better. Do do do. Yeah, that pot of red. Normally, whenever you saw that pot of red in Wonderland, da 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 da, it felt very muted, or they didn't do complete their crossovers. Here they did, even though they didn't do as many. Da 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 da. They still did. Do 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 do. In the transition, very clear, very clean, and that is more effective than you trying to overdo a beat kill. So that was nice on the that right there. Doom, doom, doom. That was a little bigger, which I appreciate. Here, we're gonna see it one more time though, just for my eyesight here. And I do think one of our one of our uh, ATs members, I feel like he was a little locked up in the upper body, so we could have loosened it just a little bit. The here that would not pull down would have been freaking sick and because he's in the front you do tend to notice him a little bit more but honestly because you have mr red overalls it is hard to catch other people because he is such a very very vibrant flamboyant color and it can and really helps to, for him to point out yeah and everybody there great job framing to the outside and having your feature remain to the front yeah, so I think it could just be it could just be this ATs member. He's he's still very stiff, and that's why this part isn't reading as effectively as some of the other ones. I do see a little bit more fullness from them, and of course our dancers need to be a little bit more. They they should have been more not should have they needed to demonstrate more fullness, you know, and they did, and I am appreciative of that. Now I do appreciate the peel out. I think they went the one, and then they went to the back, the back room, three, four. Then they all face the back and then they did the peel. So this is slightly different than the first time. So having your front guy, they all go back. Then my front goes, then my mid, and then my back. Or my outside ring. That's a really cool formation. I like that. Yep, but my still my thing still stands. Da 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 da. Make that more full. It would be better. Da 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 da. That sounds really familiar. That da 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 da. It could be from Pump It Up. I'm just going to be honest. We're going to move on. But uh, that, I love, it's just, it's fun. I love the slide throughs. I do feel like we've seen this fingerprint before. If this is BB Trip and I have seen this transition from them from, was it Wonderland? Where they did the slide outs and then they had their little moment. It could have been them or it could have been other ATs members doing this. But I have seen this before. And then I also saw it from, uh, I think it was from, oh, Brain, it's the Brain Crazy Form. 
but it was very very subtle there but it's just I just I've seen this very clearly before somewhere from them but it still works well like I'm not saying that to dog on it at all it's just a, it's an observation of a fingerprint and I like the fact that they have it because it works every time they've utilized it so noticing we are having more of a speed change a nice moment they're framing out notice there's space in between the fingers a little bit of an a long j kind of vibe happening which is added breath so I do appreciate that that there is some intentionality all the way through the fingers we're not just having dead fingers there is life even though they're not fully straight so I like that we still gonna have our 80s have their moment in the back and then they switch over and they slide through. Now what's interesting is normally I would be like, oh, this isn't symmetrical. But when you look though, it is because they are setting up the completion of this formation. And I like it. So now we have a moment with my guy running and he's going to run. Woo! Now when you choose to have a really full run like that, you got to have a lift or a jump or something trick that is going to justify the need to be that aggressive in your prep. And I know I've docked, not them, but I docked somebody on that. I think it was, I think it was on Street Dance Girl Fighter. I said something about that. But here, I think this was pretty, I'll give them a pass. We'll give them a pass for it. This right here does remind me a little bit of, I think, tricks in his battle between J-Rock from Street Man Fighter. We're going to see though. Yeah, it gives off that energy right there, like an alien exploding out of the rib cage. No, Trix doesn't own it. It doesn't matter. That's not my point. I'm just saying like this right here, it's a material or a utilization of making it feel like we're, we have an alien in our body. I just think it's, it's just a cool moment. I, it's different than just lifting it up compared to how they were setting it up was really nice and full with the speed change. But here he creates more of a not rugged, but definitely a creature-esque interpretation of reaching to the sky, which is slightly different. And I do like it. I love the stoicness of the rest of our members. Really great choice on our dancers in the front to frame that well as he jumped down. Great on the Zulu turn. Him having his moment. Boom. Doom, doom, doom. I like that. Ding, ding, ding. I would say it could be a little more clear between the chest and the hips. But I really do like the fact we got to see that. It's clear enough to see. And I love the energy transfer. He throws it and the commitment. So that really matters. He threw it. They transferred it down. Great job, dancers. Great job, ATs. Having Sam break out. Now, this is a good example where he goes boom, boom. Da, 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 da. Really nice on the vibrations. I could tell he's. we are struggling a slight bit on the stability as he does his really extroverted vibrations on this. But it's not bad enough where I'm like, ooh, be careful. Yeah, that part's fine. That, notice it, because he goes so big that he causes his body to move forward. That can affect your formation. It can affect how it finishes out. But I really like the commitment to it. So that's why it doesn't really bother me as much. It's just a, if he refined just the vibrations on that, that would have been probably, that's it's definitely one of his best moments of separation from his group you know if with just that little note i like that the fact that they ran away we're ending with ats as we have them have their moment sliding through now we have of course i do feel like when we choose the belt and this just is a boy group thing that i've noticed we love to be on a stage right where it's just we're just we really just need to get our vocals out it's either right here in this side you could be hanging out over here on this side or you're right here in the middle and everybody's framing around you there's really no other ways and you stand there in your in your angsty way but it still works though for me it never bothers me when i see it it's just something i see and it's just something don't fix when i broke you know so it, that don't bother me any i like it i like having this boom and boom it does feel like we're trying to go in a circle because everybody's facing the outside but some people are facing the inside hold on that was a cool moment with a switch around do 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 side side now that everybody's facing towards the outside, so my note for this is that my guy right here, I think is a little too far front because it looks like he's creating a point. Is that what he was intending? I don't know. But right now, maybe they're going for that tier. No, oh, awful, the awful drawing of what I just did. Boom. This kind of teardrop, bless it. That may, but normally when you see this kind of formation, you would want to have a circle. That's just an in general thing. Doesn't bother me enough. But I will say, though, that with having our guy right here, it's it, it's not very symmetrical. And I think that's why I'm a little more sensitive to it. And that's why I pointed out to where if it was just more, if it was clear that we're making a circle, then it would make more sense why he was outside of it, I think. And for me, it just feels like we're not meeting the symmetry the way we need to. But I love the travel. Do -do -do, and, do -do, and then having our... Um, having our feature come up out of that, which was nice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And it looks like we're going heel-toe, heel, heel-toe, heel, but not everybody's doing it, so that would be my note. Commit to it with your 
with the with your sternum drop it down and then drop it out love it that there do, 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 boom 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 I would say my center he didn't quite commit to it as much as those who were surrounding him were so he would need to refine that boom boom you got to use that core boom boom also the diaphragm as you hit it towards the inside whenever you concave it that'll make it sit nice and pretty to help tailor it to the beginning of the routine which I like yeah notice that he kind of shorted out on that third one boom 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 resetting it is tricky and it takes time that's just my note I'm having this moment here boom I feel like we saw this at the very beginning very like first routine we saw them do something like this right or they have somebody in front and they remove it I've seen that a couple of times I think there was one other where I got to see something like that I like it I have a feeling this means something so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys my fans of ATs please tell me what is the symbolism of this because I've seen this about on three separate occasions now yeah, in these earlier eras, so I am curious. I want to know. This was really nice. Definitely, the, the, I, I really enjoyed this one. This one was really fun to analyze, too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was helpful in some way. If you want to see any more ATs, I got a whole marathon that at this point in time I'm reacting to actively. But by the time this comes out on YouTube, I'll probably be done and caught up. But that's totally okay. Um, and if you want to see more K-pop dance content, I react to anything and everything dance related. Of course, I have stipulations on stuff that I choose to watch and choose not to watch. But for the most part, K-pop is definitely something that I look at regularly because dealing with group choreography and there's a lot of overlap between a lot of the circles that are ran in America and some of those choreographers doing work in Korea and seeing the development of groups is always really fun for me and seeing long-term growth and success because it helps me be able to see that in different uh, sides of the industry outside of just my own in the studio world so that's really fun um and once again i am jess and i will catch you on the flip side bye